Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chevelle, and today I'm going to show you how to get all the dungeon achievements for the Halls of Infusion. There are three achievements in this dungeon. The Toxicity Strike Team, the Hungry a Hungry Hornswog, and the Go With The Flow. Two of these are on bosses. One of these is right after first boss. I'm going to show you exactly where to find it, and I'll tell you what to do, and hopefully this will make getting the achievements easier for you. So, as you can see, we're now just past the first boss. What you do is, instead of going straight, you take a left. And you follow this path towards the first big room. Once you're in the first big room, just clear the trash that's in there, just so that you're safe. And then, you dive into the water, and at the bottom, there is... Down at the bottom of the water, there is a switch that you click. This is one of the switches that will purge the intake. I believe this is the only one. If there are more, my group found them and I did not. However, you can see here, the switch is down here. You click that, that should spawn the Swag Mother. All we did on this is just nuke it down, full send, because we hear the rumor there was a timer that she would jump up or away. You should have plenty of time. We did this in week two. Just nuke it. Bam. Easy achievement. Let's go on to number two now. All right, on to the second achievement, the Hungry Hungry Hornswog. This is the frog boss in the dungeon. This is a very simple achievement, albeit it was a little bit rough on healing occasionally. What you want to do for this is when the frogs spawn, every DPS and the healer kite them around. We tried sticking together a little bit. We put a marker on one of our players and just stuck around them as much as we could. We used Ring of Ice and CCs on the frogs to try to keep them together. And the only thing at this point that is left to do is make sure the boss does not consume anything on his first gulp. Gulp is the ability that will eat the frogs. If he does not consume anything on the first gulp, he'll get the hangry buff. And once he has that buff and wave 2 has spawned, you're ready to let him eat 10 of them at the same time. What we did for this is, again, just stick together, keep him CC'd. You can see us kiting him around. We missed the second goal, but we got it on the third one. We made sure he ate 10 and then just killed the fight as normal. And you've got your achievement. Well done. This was very simple. Let's move on to the next one. And the final achievement. And the final achievement that you can get in this dungeon is go with the flow. For go with the flow, what you want to do is kill three flow control units. The flow control units will be accessible once you're in intermission so what you want to make sure to do is not nuke it too hard so that you skip the first intermission once you reach intermission your team is going to get split up you're going to get put in the pathways around the boss instead of running straight back to the boss you turn around if you turn around you run to the back to the dead end there is going to be a mob there Everybody can kill their own mob. You don't really even need a tank. Just make sure you kick the cast, dodge the swirlies on the floor and kill it. And then make your way to the middle, back to the boss. Deal with the ads as usual in the middle and then just kill the boss. Again, a pretty simple achievement. Relatively straightforward. I wish you the best of luck in this dungeon. Hopefully you guys get them all in one shot. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe or... Come over to Twitch and check us out there. We're live five nights a week. Take care. Good luck on your achievement hunt. See you guys later.